Does anyone else sometimes wake up while in a social setting? One of my best friends in high school was totally blind. We spent hours playing guitar together. I realized I had to adjust when spending time with non-blind people. Everything from eye contact and body language to dumb stuff like picking your nose. Similar feelings these days when I started adding my webcam to business calls. Or when I'm interacting with people without a mask. It's like, wait, they can see me now. You. This in words is what I feel all the time. I feel that. Not really a question though so I can't answer it other than. Yes. Really got me there. Been trying to find a way to describe it for a while. I've had that feeling. Still get it from time to time. Luckily my friends don't notice right away so I never felt bad when it happens. That could be disassociation. It could be a sign of deeper problems I spend most of my day like this due to PTSD. This happens to me a lot in both social settings and elsewhere. It'll feel like I have a moment of clarity where I'm like, I am a person. Living at this point in time at this point in space, and all my interactions with other people are framed in this lens. I wouldn't call it a bad thing. Maybe. But more of a sort of cosmic realization into the life we're all living. For it it's sometimes that I am in a social setting. On autopilot. Not really interacting on a real level. When something comes up and I'm, oh crap. I actually know what the conversation is about and can participate. I get the same feeling in a movie theater. I'll look around and think, wow. Here we are. All sitting in front of a giant screen staring at the same thing. I usually have this feeling when I'm just listening to others talk. It's normal. Whenever I'm in an event. E.g. dinner, evening event or party. With friends and or family. I think to myself, everything that happened in my life so far has led to this moment, at least once. Every time. Haven't been clinically diagnosed, but reading through the comments I think I've experienced both. Derealization and depersonalization for the most part of my life until everything made sense after. Year ago when my childhood sexual trauma got triggered and I quite literally only realized it 16 17 years after. A pretty dramatic and complex situation I might say but if anything awareness is key and I'm trying. Every day now to come back to myself instead of seeing myself in my life as a shell or thing. Outside of me. TLDR. Mental health matters. You matter and if you're having a hard time. I love you and see you white heart. I feel this too. At least. I think I do. It's almost like an out of body experience. Where I hear myself talking and am removed from my physical body but still move and speak normally. It's a strange aspect of consciousness. For me it's the opposite. Like I subconsciously know other people are real and alive but sometimes it just clicks and blows. My mind that other people are really alive and just doing their own thing all the time. I understand. I have a somewhat similar experience where I suddenly feel disconnected from reality and view. Things from afar. My thoughts become along the lines of, wow I exist my existence is weird. I need to fulfill my bodily needs of sleep and nutrition. My existence feels emotions, my experience in life becomes very alien to me. I suddenly realize that we're all biologic machines that just happened to have emotions and that we all have our parts in society. Be you those instances are exceedingly rare. I have dissociation due to PTSD and this sounds way too familiar. Make sure you're doing okay bro. Yes. Yeah. From time to time I get the, oh. I am here. 
I am with this people. Or the one I have the most. When the social batteries runs out, the fuck am I doing here? Quote dot. I have bipolar 2 and honestly thought this was just me due to the medication. I thought everyone felt awake the whole time. Thank you for this post and making me feel more normal. I have felt this way throughout my life. Many times. But as I remember it. I wasn't flattered at all by this feeling. It made me think and feel that something went missing. That I was comfortable with and this wake up effect or feeling is just like a push in my back. An unpleasant one. Just as if someone just have kicked me out from their zone. Weird and awful. Never have felt like it for a long time now. Thank God. I wish I could autopilot conversations. I end up kinda just waiting around for the other person to either tire themselves out or run out of things to say because I fundamentally lack the ability to get anything in edgewise. Oh. This is the kind of feeling I get when I drift away in my thoughts. Doesn't require me to be deep in thoughts. The body, brain just does it by itself once I'm engaged by thoughts. I often just tells myself, welcome back, when I return by my momentary trip. It's like having tea time with God. Sometimes I get a jolt out of it because I suddenly moved. Like I was about to clench my fist or do something. Ops, moment? Very often. The nice spirits tap me so I realize that I'm near my stop or my train is here. When I was still a kid, my grandma used to say that I am a good child cause I can just sit there and not move lol. I guess I was entertaining myself in my own thoughts. I don't think it's a health concern, unless you find yourself snoozing off randomly. Yes. In addition, my brain also tends to think about things that are impossible to comprehend. My latest one is life after death, meaning of life. When I turn off from social interactions, I have OCD as well. Like for real OCD. Not the OMG I am Sue OCD kind. So I'm sure it plays a part. I also don't have any friends other than my lady and my dogs. I just don't really care nor do I want to use energy to have and maintain regular friends. I have daily acquaintances that I have to wake up to speak to. But that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.